Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to take a look at a different way in which we can express the concentration of a solution. We're now going to look at the mole fraction and by definition the mole fraction is the moles of the solute divided by the moles of the solution. And the task at hand here is to take the, the solution we have and find the mole fraction. We want to find the mole fraction of ethanol in a 40% weight in weight solution of ethanol in water. So that means that 40% of the weight of this solution is ethanol, then the other 60% of this solution is water. And we're given that ethanol is of course C2H5OH, and that the density of the solution is 0.8937 grams per milliliter, converted to liters that would be 893.7 grams per liter. So if we're trying to find out the number of moles of the solution, we need to know how many grams of the ethanol, or I, I'm looking first, I'm looking for the moles of the solute, we're looking at the moles of, of the ethanol, and so to do that we need to know how many grams of ethanol we have, and then we divide that by the number of grams per mole, by the molar mass. Alright, so let's assume we have one liter of the solution, so then we want to find the number of moles, number of moles of ethanol, C2H5OH, that is equal to the mass in a one liter solution. So that would be 830, oh, not 30, but 893.7 grams. Now, of course, that's the mass of the whole solution, one liter. Since only 40% of that is ethanol, we have to multiply that times 40%. So now we have the amount of ethanol in mass, in grams, in a one liter solution and then we divide that by the molar mass of ethanol. Now the molar mass of ethanol is 46 grams per mole. Now notice that the grams will cancel out and we'll end up with moles. So this will give us the number of moles of ethanol. If you're wondering where I came up with the 46, just add up the masses. Carbon is 12 grams per mole. We have two of them, so that would be 24 grams plus five grams for hydrogen, one gram each times five, that would be plus five. Oxygen, that's 16 grams per mole, and then we have one more gram for that hydrogen right there. So it gives us 40, 46 altogether. That's where that came from. All right, let's take the uh, numbers here. We have 893.7 times 0.4 divided by 46 equals, we end up with 7.77 moles of ethanol, C2H5OH. All right. Now we need to know the number of moles of the water in the solution. All right, we can do the same equation, but instead of taking 40%, we're now going to take 60%, because 60% of the mass of one liter solution is water, and divide that by the molar mass of water. So the number of moles of H2O is equal to the total mass of one liter of the solution, 893.7 grams, times 60%, because 60% is water by mass, and divided by the molar mass of water, which would be 18 grams per mole. Remember, water has one oxygen, that's 16 grams, two hydrogens, that's another two grams, that would be 18 grams per mole. And so let's find out, 893.7 times 0.6 divided by 18, and we get 29.79 moles, 29.79 moles of water. Now we can go ahead and find the mole fraction, because by definition, it's the number of moles of the solute, which is right here, divided by the number of moles of the solution. Now be careful here, it's not the number of moles of water, it's the number of moles of the total solution, which is the sum of the moles of the ethanol plus the moles of the water. So, now we can find the mole, the mole fraction. So the mole fraction is equal to the number of moles of the solute, by definition, which is 7.77 moles divided by the number of moles of the entire solution, which is the sum of the two, so it would be 7.77 moles plus 29.79 moles. All right, and what is that equal to? Times 7.77 equals, and the fraction is 0 0.207. All right, that means 20.7% of the moles of the total solution are ethanol, and the other almost 80%, 79.3% of the moles are the, would be water, that would be the rest of it. So this is really telling us, of all the moles of that solution, what 
percentage or what fraction of that are ethanol. And so about one-fifth of the moles in there are ethanol, about four-fifths of that is water. And that's kind of the way you can look at it. Right? That's what we mean by molar fraction or mole fraction. 